All right, back at the 820. Um, one thing uh, before I talk too much here, uh, one thing that's kind of interesting, <clears throat> uh, this is the thermostat that came out of that one side. And uh, I was in a bit of a hurry last video, and you can clearly see this is a 160 degree thermostat. And the other one was 180. Um, so that's a bit interesting. But uh, anyway, so today what I'm working on um, in the limited time that I've, I have, um, I've been cleaning up the gasket surfaces uh, on the radiator tubes. And I've also been scraping as much rust as I can out. Um, you can see the pile of rust uh, there at the bottom. Just trying to get it out. I think what I'll do is once I get... Um, once I get uh, these clean and everything, I'll fill it with water, run the machine a little bit, and then, uh, see there's the other side. Um, you can actually kind of see that rust down in there. Um, fill it with water and uh, call it good, and then run it for maybe 30, 40 minutes. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and um, shut it off, drain it after it cools off, because you should do that according to the manual. And uh, then we'll um, fill it back up, run it again, just try to keep getting all that rust out of there. That way I don't end up with a buildup on top of the thermostats like I did before. Um, but the next thing, interesting thing I'll show you, i got to get the gasket set, and I'll come back and I'll show you that, because that's uh, something that was kind of disappointing when I picked that up. All right, so here is the gasket set. Um, oh, what's the part number? This is part number RE524141, and I want to say this was, um, this is the replacement set for the head set. It, it's not the full engine rebuild. So, in this gasket set, we get the lead washers for the head bolts. At least I think that's what those are. We get this bag of gaskets, which I'll come back to here in a minute. We get our head gasket, which is by far the most expensive gasket, so I'm happy to have that. I think, I think that gasket out in and of itself is like 145 bucks. And then, down here we have our two cork gaskets, we've got our valve cover gasket, and then we have the top cover gasket. So, those are there. Now, what's really interesting I should have asked before I ordered it. I'm not going to take this back because, I mean, I can use all of these eventually. So, here's the small gaskets. Um, I would assume these washers here have something to do with the injectors, uh, nuts, bolts, etc., etc. So, here's that gasket that I'm missing on the pony motor, so I'll definitely need that. Here is the gasket for the exhaust manifold. Um, and it looks like I'm going to have to take the exhaust manifold off to get to to tight, to fully tighten down the radiator um, tube. So I'll probably need those. Then we have, these are our two water pump gas, or these are our two um, uh, lower radiator pipe gaskets. So the, the, these are the gaskets that come out of the head. Um, that'll be these two gaskets here. And then these are the two gaskets that go on the upper part of the uh, water pipe on either side of the radiator. Now, what's missing from this set is the two gaskets that I was actually buying it for so I could make some new gaskets. Um, because oddly enough, I do have quite a bit of uh, gasket material around here, even though I've never really made gaskets before. But I don't have the two gaskets that I was looking for so I would have a good copy. Um, so basically this is a $229 set of gaskets that, and sorry if you can hear the heat on the shop, um, but it's a $229 or $230 gasket set that doesn't have the two gaskets that I specifically bought it for so I would have a good copy. Um, so it looks like, and we'll just walk back here to the back of the shop, where the 820's at. So it looks like, and I'm going to have to apologize for the poor lighting, I wasn't planning on coming back here. So it looks like what I'm going to have to do to get a good, to get a good fit in there, I'm going to have to clean all this up. 
um, which I mean I have to do anyway. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this, uh, the exhaust manifold off. That way I can get um, a little bit more room in here. And I think I'm just going to use some of the the coolant system forma gasket. Uh, that uh, that almost to me it seems like it might be a little bit better of a deal than you trying to cut my own paper gaskets. Um, I just don't know. I, th I think I'm I think I'm going to do that um, instead of using paper gaskets. Just use the the water or antifreeze forma gasket whatever. Uh, I think I'm going to use that here. So. That's kind of what I'm up to uh, right now. This won't be a very long video, or at least I'm not planning on it to be. Um, you know, just mostly because I, I don't have a whole lot of time right now. I did take, I can't remember if I showed this in the last video, I did take the oil bath air filter off. Um, it is sitting over here now, if you can see that. Um, decided it was way, it was in my way too much, way too much. Um, plus, now that I have this gasket, I might go ahead and pull off the valve cover just so I can look at the rocker arms and everything see what kind what kind of condition they're in um, so yeah that's progress for right now um, not much has happened I haven't even primed the the new water pump or anything so it's not like we're gonna get back into this anytime soon um, but yeah progress is occurring um, moving forward just really slow so anyway thanks for watching all right, I think I may have already closed the video off in the, the previous segment. Um, <clears throat> I had a little bit, a couple extra minutes that I was going to be out of the shop this evening. And I figured I'd go ahead and work on getting the first coat of primer on the, the new rebuilt water pump. Uh, just kind of a pet peeve of mine. So this is the, this is the front pulley um, to the water pump. And basically this pulley, to put the belt on... Uh, this pulley will will screw together. There's got a little set screw right here um, sets, You can see where the set screw set before um, Evidently Whoever I bought this off of they decided oh hey, we'll just um, We'll just sandblast the whole thing and and you know, we won't think anything else about the grit We'll just go ahead and sandblast get slap a new bearing in it and call it good which I'm not really complaining about because, I mean, it's a nice tight water pump. I mean, there's nothing nothing inherently wrong. But to properly do it, you need to take this collar off because I specifically wanted to take the collar off so I could paint it correctly. And that way I can keep put some tape on these threads to keep the, t the, the paint out of these threads and whatnot. But guess what? Because of all the sandblast media in there, I had just a terrible time getting this collar off. Um, I mean, you can actually see it down there. I mean, you see all the grit and everything in the threads. Hopefully you can. And so, yeah, it's just one of those things, kind of just a, a side note that doesn't make me real happy. But like I said, it's a, it's a water pump. It's a John Deere water pump. It's not some, you know, some knockoff from China or anything. So, anyway, that's just kind of my spiel for the day. So, thanks for watching.